someone will be thinking she's so young and she's a senator it's because i never saw it like something it's something big i'm aiming somewhere so when you're aiming for the sun you land on the stars first so we can as well say i'm on the stars <laughs> Zena Lemalitian, a senator in the Republic of Kenya, uh, nominated to represent the youth in the upper house. I like to say and describe myself as a nomadic, pastoralist girl from the north of Kenya, Samburu County. I am um, the reigning Miss Commonwealth Kenya still. I am a global peace ambassador, a goodwill, culture and charity ambassador for the Commonwealth. Also recently awarded the African Leaders Hall of Fame and also the International Young Leader of the Year 2023. <sighs> the Queen of the North is actually a nickname. I was uh, given that nickname when I, I won the Miss Tourism crown. I was the first uh, Miss Tourism, Samburu County, that was in 2013, 2014. From then, I would grace events, catwalk, you know, and I would wear my there's something about our Samburu beads. I, you know, there's these young people who are like, Tume Chanuka, we don't want to wear Kukau Shamba. But I, I wear them proudly, and it's making a lot of people want to wear these beads, and especially the Samburu girls, it's making them want to wear these beads because they're saying, you can still be very empowered, exposed, gracious. Uh, confident and modest while wearing your traditional outfit. You can still command respect while wearing your traditional outfits. Women play a very critical role in shaping our society. Like I always say, women hold half of the sky. That's what Thomas Sankara once said. When we make up again the majority population in the country, and when you empower a woman, they say you empower a whole society. Why? Because at least every household has a woman that is being dependent by everyone. Whether she's a working mom, whether she's a stay-at-home mom, whether she's illiterate, educated, she is being depended upon. I think we focus on the goal. The goal is to have a society that is empowered. The goal is to have a country where all citizens enjoy their rights a country which is self-sufficient. If we focus on that goal, then we're able to work. I was taught that you must be a rational dreamer. Your goals should be rational. Rational in the sense that if I want to be the World Trade Organization, I can't just sleep and wait to be the World Trade Organization Director General. I have to work hard. I have to make small steps that will lead me to the big dream. So for now, between me and that ultimate goal, because if I become that, I will retire afterwards. Now, between that goal and where I am, there are so many other goals I can achieve in between. What are those small, small goals? It's like pol the political, local political uh, spaces, the, the positions, you know, senator, governor, women rep, and deputy president, president, you know, you never know. One day Kenyans might wake up and say, we are not voting on tribal lines. I always have one message, which I think is going to be my trademark, because I think I've said it in pretty much every, to every question. I always say that whatever you believe or conceive in your mind, you can achieve it. Because the mind is the most powerful tool any human being can possess. People always behave according to how their mind is. So whatever you do, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself so strongly that other people have no option but to believe in you. Secondly, never lose hope and just know that hard work, resilience will eventually lead to success. No matter what it is that you're working hard towards, you're going to achieve it, no matter what.